Welcome to our next Wondering Walks of Wonder Tour. This time we're headed to Gainesville, Texas. Gainesville is the county seat of Cook County, Texas. And our walk actually begins here in front of the historic Cook, Cook County Courthouse. This is actually the third courthouse uh, to be here, fourth courthouse to be built on this site. The first was a small log structure that was erected in 1850. In 1853, it was replaced by a one-story frame building which was later destroyed by a fire. The third courthouse was a two-story limestone structure. Uh, it was completed in 1880, and again, it was destroyed by a fire in 1909. This latest version of the Cook County Courthouse was built in 1910 and is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Founded in 1850, the city of Gainesville was established on a 40-acre tract of land donated by Mary E. Clark. City residents called their new community Liberty, which proved short-lived as a Liberty, Texas already existed. One of the original settlers of Cook County, Colonel William Fitzhugh, suggested that the town be named after General Edmund Pendleton Gaines. Gaines, a United States general under whom Fitzhugh had served, had been sympathetic with the Texas Revolution. The first hint of prosperity in Gainesville arrived with the Butterfield Overland Mail stagecoach in September of 1858. The stagecoach, or the stagecoach brought freight, passengers, and mail to the, to the small, growing city. In 1860, Cook County voted against succession in, uh, just prior to the Civil War, and in 1862, during the Civil War, the Great Hanging of Gainesville at a controversial trial and lynching of 40 suspected Union Loyalists brought the new town to the attention of the state and it came close to ripping the county apart. In the decade after the Civil War, Gainesville had its first period of extended growth, catalyzed by the expansion of the cattle industry in Texas. Gainesville is only about seven miles from the Oklahoma border and became a supply point for cowboys driving herds north to Kansas. The merchants of Gainesville reaped considerable benefits from the passing cattle drives. About 20 years after that, the population continued to increase to more than about 2,000 people. Gainesville was officially incorporated as a city on February 17th, 1873, and by 1890 <clears throat> was established as a commercial and shipping point for area ranchers and farmers.
In the late 1870s, two factors drastically altered the historic landscape of North Central Texas. The first of these was barbed wire. In 1875, Henry B. Sanborn, a regional sales agent for Joseph Glidden's Bar Fence Company of DeKalb, Illinois, traveled to Texas. That autumn, he chose Gainesville as one of his initial distribution points for the newly invented barbed wire, which his employer had patented the previous year. On his first visit to Gainesville, he sold 10 reels of the wire to the Cleves and Fletcher hardware store, the first spools of barbed wire ever sold in Texas. World War II had enorm an enormous impact on Cook County. Camp Howells, an Army infantry training camp, was established on some of the best farmland in the county. The construction of the camp helped bring Cook County out of the Great Depression by providing jobs. The county population doubled and the area boomed. We've been walking through a neighborhood with a lot of very stately homes built in the early 1900s, late 1800s. For example, this house here is the E.P. and Alice Bomer House. It was built in 1898, uh, started in 1898, completed in 1901. Uh, it is on the National Register of Historic Places. It's known as Red Oak Manor, which comes from the oak trees in the front yard of the home. Dr. Edmund Balmer was a prominent area businessman. 
as were most of the other homeowners along this street. This building here is the Cook County Free Library. In 1913, city librarian Lillian Gunter and the XLI Club, a local women's literary society, secured a grant from Andrew Carnegie from the Andrew Carnegie Foundation to construct a library building here in Gainesville. Gunter then began her quest for state legislation to enable counties to support library services for people outside incorporated cities. With the help of State Representative George Dayton and the Texas Library Association, the county library law was passed in 1917. In 1920, the Gainesville City, Can city Council voted to turn over its library to the county, creating one of the first county libraries in Texas.
We're now coming up upon the historic State Theater. This is actually the third theater that's opened on this site here in downtown Gainesville. This particular theater uh, was built in 1938 in the Art Deco style. It was originally designed to show Broadway-type shows, vaudeville shows. Uh, today, it shows productions of various kinds as well as kind of first-run type movies and local productions of different types of plays. I hope you've enjoyed this walk through downtown Gainesville. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you on our next Wondering Walk Tour. Bye now.